There have been around 60 earthquakes off the coast of Oregon starting yesterday and then continuing throughout today. The biggest, a magnitude 5.8. Now Liz Birch is going beyond the headlines tonight and joins us live. And Liz, you know, when we hear about so many earthquakes, especially that big, it certainly can put a lot of people on edge. Are these earthquakes any cause for concern? Well, I think that's the big question on everyone's mind tonight. Jenny, the short answer to that is no. So the professor I spoke to about this explained it's because they're so far off the coast. We really won't see any impacts from these earthquakes. In fact, I want to show you a map right now that shows exactly where those earthquakes happen. So you can see here they happen on the Blanco fault line, and you can see that it is unusual to have one as large as a 5.8. The expert I spoke to explained that's why we're seeing so many aftershocks. Uh, I know in the newsroom we've been getting notifications pretty much all day saying that earthquakes in that area are happening. Are you surprised that there were so many more overnight? Do you anticipate more of these? Um, actually, uh, they're further out and they really haven't had huge numbers of, of earthquakes out in that area. Uh, and, and so uh, they, they've been building up for a long time. The other thing is when the value is higher. So the biggest one was 5.8. The bigger the quake, the more um, uh, uh, earthquakes uh, after that occur. And there'll be a lot more of them. And so the numbers are related to the size of the biggest one. So it's important to note there isn't any tsunami concern with these earthquakes. That professor I spoke to said it would really need to be above an 8.0 for that to be a concern in our area. Live in Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. And of course, we're overdue for a 9.0 a Cascadia subduction zone earthquake. We don't, which, want to, we don't want to talk about that. Well, you need to. Yeah, I know. Uh, All right. Quakes happening along the, the Blanco Transform uh, Fault uh, serve as a good reminder to get ready for the big one or any major disaster like getting two weeks ready. So that means making sure you have a 72-hour preparedness kit and two weeks of food, water, and other emergency supplies. It's important to know that not every kit will look the same. Of course, you should prepare based on things like the number of people in your family and any medical needs you have. We have an entire section at coin.com dedicated to science and preparedness in the event of a major earthquake and disaster. Just go to coin.com and click on the earthquake section.